Greetings traveler, I'm Snapjelly and I asked you guys on a bunch of stuff to ask me a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna go through all of them real fast, super fast, lightning fast, never have seen anything so fast, faster than Sanic. So let's start. First one from Twitter. Could you talk about the Warhammer and Skyrim? Are they feasible as real weapons? Sure, I probably will at some point. If you were in a fantasy world like the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, Skyrim or The Witcher, what would be the best way to equip yourself? Better said, what weapons and armor would the pro tag of X fantasy world use? Well, to be fair, when I judge fantasy uh, armor and equipment, I am very generous. Let's say that. Extremely generous. Most of it would, in terms of functionality, just wouldn't work at all. Because uh, there's a lot of details in how armor functions and stuff. So um, all of it basically sucks. It doesn't matter. Is your name Indigo Montoya? Yes. What would you recommend as a first sword, particularly for somebody with a bit of limited mobility and ability to swing a heavy thing about for very long? Well, swords aren't very heavy to begin with, so that really doesn't matter. And that depends on what what kind of sword that you want. What do you want to practice? Do you want to practice long sword, saber, back sword? What do you want? You need to give me more info than this. And also, if you want to do form practice, you don't really need a sword. You can do form practice with nothing or just a stick. Doesn't matter. And now that the sword question is out of the way, what do you use on your hair? It's fantastic. Nothing, believe it or not. I use no hair products except shampoo. My hair is just naturally like this. Would you say it's worth to join a HEMA school or is self-teaching just fine, at least for the start? I would say that it is definitely worth joining a HEMA school if you can. I would say that self-teaching has, you know, its benefits, but you you get more out of self-teaching after you've joined a HEMA school because if you, if you start self-teaching right from the bat, you have nobody to correct you if you're doing stuff wrong, and that can lead to a lot of misconceptions. So self-teaching self can help you improve after you've already got a basis of knowledge, in my opinion. What armor made of thin planks of wood layered together, like ballistic weave and Kevlar, be effective against swords? I don't know uh, why you would have thin planks of wood layered together instead of just one thicker piece of board, but if you mean that wood could stop swords, yeah, I mean, shields were made of wood, so why wouldn't it? Um, would it be effective as armor? Well, there's going to be some mobility issues, probably. You know, wood wasn't really used as armor because it is not really a thing that you can shape very easily, I'd say. But can it stop a sword blow? Yeah, definitely. What is your opinion about Polish Hussar Saber? Uh, if you mean the saber, as in the weapon, I'm not really a big fan of swords that have thumb rings that you're supposed to stick your thumb through, but I'm not sure if I'm the right person to ask this because I don't do an awful lot of saber fencing in general. Now, if you talk about Polish saber as, as a thing to practice, then the only real criticism that I have is that Polish saber is, is really popular. It grew in popularity super fast, but there are no real historical treatises of it as far as I'm aware. So that's kind of, it is something that grew in, in, it hugely grew in popularity, but it's reconstructive HEMA. Same with like Viking martial arts. Like everybody loves Vikings, but nobody knows what Viking fighting was actually like. It's just guesswork. So, um, that. That was all for Twitter. Now let's go to Facebook. What is your quest? Bend over and I'll show you. In the magic of video games in AC4, Edward Kenway wears leather type of attire as armor. If pirates were to wear armor, would leather be ideal? Or is, is there more accurate armor? Uh, pirates probably wouldn't wear armor at all. And if, if you, you, want to, you would want to stay mobile because most of the times you're not going to be fighting, right? Armor is not something that you would wear just on a day-to-day -day basis, just in case. You would only wear it if you would go to battle. And pirates would most of the time just be on their ship doing ship work, so they probably wouldn't wear armor at all. And if it, if they would wear leather as armor, then they would need it to be flexible, in which case it's not really functional as armor, so it's a bunch of no-no. What would be better, a sword made of cardboard or a sword made of chocolate? Uh, the chocolate one, because then you can eat away the sadness of how stupid this question actually is. That interested me for a long time now, was being a soldier viking warrior who wielded a sword and fought for a long time counted as some sort of workout? Try it, you'll get tired. I'll promise you, you will not get buff from sword fighting. Um, most sword fighters that are, are have quite a dad bod, so to speak. But um, it is quite a workout for definitely your forearms and your delts, and obviously your core. You, you need a lot of core stability. But most of the strength from sword fighting comes from your um, bone structure, like the structure of your body, and not really from your muscles. So you will not get big muscles. Thoughts on Lars Anderson. Lars Anderson is a really impressive a trick shooter. It's not historical. He makes a bunch of claims about historical archery that are not based in facts, but a bunch of people have already debunked that in the past, so I'm not really gonna go into that. What is best in life? 
donating to Snapjelly's Patreon. Is Jon Snow's plot armor made from the hardest material in the universe? No, what he gave Daenerys was made from the hardest material in the universe. Why did people in medieval Western Europe use hosen instead of just trousers? As far as I'm aware they used both, but in, there were a lot more hosen than you see today. Uh, yeah. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Source? Yes. What do you think of Castlevania whips? I don't know what that is. <laughs> what do you prefer? Spaghetti, pizza or bunga bunga? I hate pasta. I really hate pasta. I'm sorry Metatron, but I do. I don't really eat pizza all that much because I like pizza, but it's like a thousand calories and something like that. And I don't know what bunga bunga is, but it sounds sexual, so I'll go for that. Will you do a DNA ancestry test someday? I've actually looked into it before, but it's always a lot of money and then I'm like, nah. So I might someday. I think it's interesting, but I don't really care all that much. Can you do a video on the evolution of archery? Uh, I could, but that would take a lot of research from my part because I'm not an archer, so... Uh, yeah, it's not really my forte, so to speak. Are traps gay? Only if you know about it. What's a good sword to start with for learning proper form? You don't need a sword to practice form. But even if you did have a sword for form practice, then it depends on what kind of sword fighting you want to practice. But I would say that if you want to practice a long sword, then a basket hilted broadsword wouldn't be that effective. Depends on what you want to practice. I need more info. What's the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? Donating to Snapjelly's Patreon. Definitely. Um, it will, it will make everything better. Where's that video with your bare ass? I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> it's there. I'm not gonna tell you where it is, but it's there. Keep looking. What weapons equipment would be best suited against several opponents? If you are alone, not talking about guns, of course. Well, if you are fighting several opponents at once, you are gonna get stabbed in your back, undoubtedly. So you will need armor, definitely, because that's the only thing that could prevent you from getting stabbed in your back. Now there are people that would say, oh no, you need no armor because you need to be light and swoosh swoosh. Those people have no fucking clue because armor only function functionally works if it compares immobility to somebody who's not wearing armor. So you definitely need armor because then at least if you get stabbed in the back, there's a chance that you don't die. And you need to stay as mobile as possible. And I would also say that you would need a short weapon because then if somebody comes in close in the back, you need to be able to turn around and strike them at once. So if you have a long weapon like a spear, Yes, you can keep your distance, but if somebody comes up to you from behind, then there's nothing you can do about that. So I would say just m lots of armor, lots of armor, full suit of armor and a warhammer or something like that. What's your favorite doggo breed? Irish Wolfhound. Do you have knowledge about small throwing weapons? I know that they were not used an awful lot for, uh, for good reason. They're not that effective. What Elder Scrolls game do you prefer? I've only ever played Skyrim and I didn't finish it because I didn't care. How old are you? Old enough to be your mom. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck? About as much wood as your mom takes up her butt. Which do you prefer, German or Italian longsword? Uh, I practice more German than I practice Italian, but honestly, I like both. It's not a concise answer, I know, but well, whatever. Do you smoke weed? No. Can you unsheathe a sword from your back? Hey Jelly, I was just wondering how sharp would swords like this be? Generally, you could say that people wanted their swords to be as sharp as they possibly could. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes, and water is molten vegan ice cream. How long do I have to wait for grave robbing to become archaeology? Couple minutes. Can you explain the use of dogs in war? That would take a lot more time than this few seconds I'm gonna give it in this video. Would you prefer laminate floor or carpet in your bedroom? Uh, it doesn't really matter, ask your mom, she has to lick it. Most important question, Marvel or DC? I don't give a fuck about either. If you had to fight in any war up in the Middle Ages, which would you fight and which weapons would you choose? Uh, I really would rather wouldn't fight in anyone and uh, which weapons I would choose depends on what war it is, wouldn't it, you know? What's your favorite type of helmet and what would you wear in a battlefield in a historic war? Well, the one I would wear in a historic war depends on which war it is, based on time period and what helmets are available, of course. Uh, my favorite helmet is the Burgonet. What's your favorite oak shot type blade on a longsword? That really depends on which sword, you know, different swords are good for different things. Was wielding two one-handed weapons ever an actual thing in real life? Well, yeah, you have rapier and dagger, so yeah. Is it okay to spar with parrying daggers? I'm sure, if you don't kill each other, go for it. What's your favorite time periods to reenact and how can someone become as handsome as you? Um, my favorite time period is anything like 17th century. It's really fascinating because it's lots of flair. I like that a lot. And uh, you can't be as handsome as me. Uh, I sacrifice a virgin every Tuesday and there aren't any virgins left in the world. So I'm going to slowly deteriorate and become ugly. What's your dream sword? The ones that I don't have to pay for. Is it possible to make a functional dildo sword? Depends on what you call functional. If you mean by functional, if you can shove it up your butthole, then any sword is a dildo sword. 
You just shove it up there. Nobody's stopping you. Hello, Snapjelly. I recently found this weird weapon from India on the internet. It's called the Urumi. Is this thing real? And what do you think of it? I'm going to be honest with you. I have no clue. <laughs> I never. I know what it is. It's like a. It's like a whip sword, but I never looked it up, so I. I really can't tell you anything about that. That was all for Facebook, but we're not done yet. Now we're moving on to YouTube. How far is the sun? About as far as you are from being funny. Why didn't segmented armor continue in the medieval times? Uh, I think what you mean is that like the Romans used uh, lorica segmentata, and like in the later medieval period, like or early medieval period, they only used male. Uh, there's, there's plenty of reasons for that, but like afterwards people started using segmented armor again, but different styles, so... Well, how is your gay? I haven't heard of it in a while. That's because I keep it locked up now. I can't give it too much sunlight, it'll cause a ruckus. What's your favorite sword? The ones I don't have to pay for. Why did you shave your beard? The only reason that I've ever had a beard is because I was too lazy to shave. Your favorite weapon that is really impractical. A brick. Why the hell did you shave your beard? You look so much better with it. No, beards don't make people look better. It just makes people hide their ugliness, right? It makes people believe that you look better simply because your ugliness is not visible. It's not the same. Did people ever held their sword like Michael Myers holds his knife in Halloween? If you mean with the point down, no. I made a separate video about that. You can, you can look that up. Do swords need to be razor sharp to cut effectively? No, but sharpness really matters a lot. Like, if you can get your sword super, super sharp, that would drastically increase the effectivity against, like, padded armor and stuff like that. So people would generally want their swords to be as sharp as possible. Why was there less armor used as guns were invented and normalized? Well, guns and armor were used together for quite a long time, unlike what people believe. There's lots of reasons why eventually people stopped using uh, armor like they are now. And practically, the, the most basic reason is because guns were too powerful, became eventually too powerful. Like, it's like you can set an armored knight up against a tank, but he's not going to hold up. So, pretty much, yeah. Where was lamellar armor used and why wasn't it more widespread? Is it more protective than male? Uh, lamellar armor was used in a lot of places and, well, some people say it's more protective than male. Uh, other people debate about that. It's, it's, it's just different, really. Uh, eventually, it wasn't used more because, well, plate armor became a thing. And I guess brigandine is, is a similar concept to lamellar and that was used quite a lot in the Middle Ages. Uh, but, well. How do I last longer in bed? By donating to Snapjelly's Patreon. For $69, you will definitely last longer in bed. Like a full 11 seconds, at least. What's your opinion about the Samurai Mountain Armor? Uh, looks dope. What's the idea behind the Kopesh? How was it used? Why wasn't it used more? It was used with a shield, with a very large shield, and the idea behind it was just to create a chop-centered sword that was light and focused on the chop. It wasn't used more because eventually it got replaced by other swords that focused on the chop, like uh, the Kopis and the Falcata, stuff like that. It's a bronze sword. Eventually it became outdated, simple as that. If you were thrust into the 14th century out of the blue and had to choose a country to live in, which would it be? I don't care, they would all suck. What do you think about the story of Grootbeer and his 2.2 meter sword? Could it have been used in battle or would it only be used for execution or intimidation? Neither. That sword that, that's in, in the museum that they say is Grootbeer's sword, that's a parade sword. It wasn't, actually, it wasn't actually his sword. Are the weapons in For Honor realistic? The swords are about an inch thick. That should tell you enough. Is surprise butt sex okay? The clue is to just be always prepared for butt sex. Just always be wide open and there will never be a problem. What is your favorite not sword weapon? Flanked mace. Easy. As they said previously in another comment, I would also like to know about the Kopesh. Well, there you go. Among the historical usage of the twin Chinese blades of equal length, how practical would it in reality? Quite skeptical about it, but I like experience and knowledge. Uh, this is probably going to rub some Chinese people off the wrong way, but uh, that was, as far as I know, never used in warfare. For, uh, for good reason. Does Bruno Mars is gay? No, really, I want to know. Ask him. If you had to choose a single sword as the coolest looking over, what would it be? Rapiers look pretty cool. What's your opinion about History Channel's Forged in Fire? I'm not a big fan. I don't really like it that much. Have you read David Gremmel's Drenai series? And if so, why the hell not? And if so, why the hell not? Have you read it? And if so, why the hell not? Hmm. Okay. No, I have not read it. Can you debunk the little sword fights they have in the Golden Knights pregame show? Uh, I don't know what that is, but sure, I'll have a look. What's your favorite type of mountain? The type that is completely flat. Why do you cut your hair like this? Let it grow. Because I like it this way, and no, I'm not gonna let it grow. What color are my trousers? They are yellow in the front and brown in the back. Are traps gay? Again. If you never know, then you can't be judged. You can be judged. You will be judged. Would you eat my ass? Definitely. Get over here. How gay are you? Just, a butthole is a butthole, 
right? If you just don't ever look at what's going on in the front, then you'll never know and you're not gay. That's how it works. For a fight, would you rather use spiked boots or spiked elbow armor? At that point, I would probably just use my fists. Hope you're doing good, Snapjelly. Thank you, but that's not a question. If I ask a question, will you feature it in a Q&A video? No. Please come to Brazil. Victoria, that's not a question. Favorite porn star? Porn? Is that, is that, a, is that a Bible verse? I, I've, never, I've never heard of that one. What is love? Donating to Snapjelly's Patreon. It's, uh, def yes. I am very poor, in case you can't tell. I want to know how gay traps are, if they are. <laughs> okay, g g good, fine. Where did you find your girlfriend, or where did she find you? Uh, she found me in heaven. That was all of it. If you stuck around this long, you might as well subscribe. Also, follow me on social media. Links are in the description below, and thank you for joining my quest, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Bye, guys.